Hi, this is Ms. Bratcher here, and in this lesson we're going to learn how to create divs, which are just divisions or sections on your page. You just type div, and it closes it off, and when you click over in the design view, you don't notice that you've done anything. So what we can do is style that div so you all can see the possibilities, and this will start allowing you all to divide your page up and have a page that's more than just one column. So if I'm just going to be styling a plain old div, I would just do div as my selector, and let's go ahead and add a background color. You can even do a background image like your banner. And end your value with the semicolon. Now you can see where that div is that we've got over there. Let's go ahead and add a height of 200 pixels and a width of I'm going to do 100% so it spans the entire width of the page. So now you can see what the div looks like. You can even put divs inside of divs. But let's start by just putting some text in here. Oops. Um, and now you'll notice that my text is touching all the way to the far left of this div. So if we want to get some space on the inside of a div, we add what we call padding. And you can see here that padding is this space on the inside of a div. I always explain it like a football player would put his pads on the inside underneath his jersey. He would never wear them on the outside. So padding goes on the inside of an element. So we'll go back and add a little padding. You can type padding and you can give it one value, so maybe we'll put 20 pixels. You can also add padding top, right, bottom, and left. So instead of just specifying one value, you can make them all different. So 0 on the top, 20 on the right, 5 on the bottom, 10 on the left. Let's go ahead and put another div below it and show you what margins look like. I'll just copy what I've got here and paste it below. A margin would be space on the outside, so these two divs are touching. Well, if you wanted some space between them, we would do what's called a margin. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type margin, colon, and I can tell it that I want zero pixels margin on the top, zero on the right, I want 20 pixels on the bottom, and zero on the left. And you'll notice now I got space on the outside of the element. Right here, this would be our margin. You can even put divs inside a div. So right here, I've put another div inside of my first div. But I don't want it to look just the same. So to differentiate, I'm going to give it a name. And since this is not a unique element, meaning I might add lots of these divs, I'm going to call it box. I'm going to give it a class. To style a class, I'm going to go up here to the top, close off my first style, and you just do dot and then whatever you named your div, so I named this one box, curly brace, then you can style it. So I'm going to start by giving it a width of 100px, a height of 100px, and let's give it a background color. close it off with a semicolon, close off my style. You'll now notice I have that box there. If I want to move it to the right, I can just float it. Or maybe I want to float it to the left. And when I float it, you'll notice the text pops up beside it. Well, the text is touching the edge of the box. So to get space on the outside of this yellow box, I could add a margin in there. And if I just want to add a margin on the right, I can do margin hyphen right, 10 pixels. And that gives me space. If you have a div that's a unique element, meaning you'll just have one of them, for instance, you only have one left column and you only have one header, you would use the ID for that. So maybe this first div will say ID equals, and we're going to call it our header. All right, and then I'll just go up to my original style and change that to hashtag header. And now only this first div is style because it's the only div with the name header. 
The last thing is an inline style. You could add a style right inside of the HTML tag by doing style equals adding your property and adding your value. However, this is not the method you would want to use. But that is how you add an inline style. Inline styles always beat internal styles. These are internal styles. And internal styles always beat external. However, you always want to use an external style, which is an entirely separate style sheet like this.